Welcome back to our next lesson. I have my dog Dougie here. I don't know if you can see him. I'll say hi, Dougie. Hello. This is my dog, Doug. Yeah. So he might be in our video helping us out a little bit today. We are going to start by singing that clickety clack song. And we're going to use the same hand pattern that we did uh, last week. So remember, it goes uh, pat your knee and then back of your hand up to your other hand and then pat. So one, two, three, and then switch to one, two, three. And you're always using your same side hand to do the ups and the downs, all right? And your other hand is just there to like kind of catch your hand. Ready? So it's gonna go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. You try it with me and here you go. One, two, three, 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 one. All right. So, uh, maybe you've gotten a chance to do that over the past week. Let's see if we can sing our clickety clack song with that pattern just like we did last week. Ready? One, two, ready and go. Clickety, clickety, clack. Clickety, clickety, clack. Clickety, 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 clack. All right, just like last week, we're gonna do one more time, a little touch faster, so it'll go clickety, clickety, clack. Ready? And here we go. Clickety, clickety, clack. Clickety, clickety, clack. Clickety, 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 clack. All right. Again, takes a little practice, but once you get it, your your brain and your arms and your muscles will start doing that pattern um, on their own. So, um, could you? Next, we're going to clap and say a few uh, rhythmic patterns. patterns. Remember, if we clap once, if it has one sound, then it's going to say do. Do is going to be our rhythm language. And if it has three sounds, this was new last week, it's going to sound like do da dee. Everyone say do da dee. Ready, go. Say it again. Do da dee. Ready, go. All right. So echo three patterns back to me. I will clap them and say them. You do the same back to me. Ready? Do da dee. Do, do, do. Do, do da dee, do da dee, do. Do da dee, do da dee, do da dee, do. Thank you. Now, the next two patterns are going to be, I want you to hear them. I'm not going to say the rhythm language, but I want you to say the rhythm language while you clap it back to me. And I'll do each one twice, okay? So, the first one. It's gonna sound like this. So your job is to add that rhythm language back on. Here it is again, same one. And that was do da dee do, do da dee do. How'd you do? Did you get it? All right. One more, and it's going to go like this. Ready? Okay, here's the second time. Ready? And that was do daddy, do daddy, do, do. All right? So, we're getting some practice hearing and then putting that rhythm language onto the rhythms that we hear. So, we have a new song to learn today. So, I'm going to sing it first, um, all the way through. Take a listen. Great big house in New Orleans, 40 stories high. Every room that I've been in, filled with pumpkin pie. 
this time, can you listen for any parts of the song that sound the same? Now the words aren't going to be the same, but can you listen for any parts where my voice is singing the same uh, little pattern, same idea? Ready? Great big house in New Orleans, 40 stories high. Every room that I've been in, filled with pumpkin pie. Did you find any? Okay. Well, this time, I will sing and you sing back to me. Ready? Great big house in New Orleans. Forty stories high Every room that I've been in Filled with pumpkin pie All right, I'm gonna sing half the song you sing it back to me ready Great big house in New Orleans, 40 stories high. Every room that I've been in, filled with pumpkin pie. All right. So this time, I'm going to sing the whole thing, but then I'm going to have you pause the video to sing it back. Sing it on your own. And you can always rewind, remember. Ready? Great big house in New Orleans, 40 stories high. Every room that I've been in, filled with pumpkin pie. All right. So, so far we've done uh, clickety-clack our hand pattern. We've done uh, some rhythm echoes and some decoding where we listen and then try to put the rhythm language back on. And then we have learned our new song, Great Big House in New Orleans. For our final piece of our lesson today, we're going to do a similar thing. Uh, we did it last week. We're getting more practice today of singing back some patterns using our solfege language. Do, re, mi, sol, la. So I'm gonna sing, and could you please sing back to me? And this is gonna be your seesaw activity too. Just like last week where you pressed the voice instructions, you listened, and then you, you said it back. This time you're gonna sing it back. Ready? So let's warm up our voices a little bit. Do, re, mi. Your turn. Do, re, mi, so, so. So, la, so, mi. La, so, mi, mi, re, do. All right, now these are going to be similar patterns, but, um, uh, yeah, here they go. There's four of them. Just for some practice. This will be more like what you do on your seesaw activity. Ready? So, 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 me, me, re, re, do. And this one. Me, so, so, la, me, so. Third one. Do, re, mi, so, so, la, la, so. So, 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 la, 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 so, so, mi. All right. So now it's your job to head on over to Seesaw. And same as last week, you're going to click the microphone button in the activity, click on view instructions, and then click play instructions. Listen to my voice and just echo back the patterns that you hear. Thanks class. I will see you again next week.